Ever wondered about the top things to do in Oahu? Well, you're in the right place. Welcome to our countdown of the top 12 must-see spots on this stunning island. From its vibrant culture, breathtaking natural beauty, to the unique experiences it offers, Oahu is a paradise that has something for everyone. So if you're planning a trip or just daydreaming, we've got some hot tips coming your way. Hold on to your sun hats, folks. We're diving into the top 12 things to do in Oahu. Kicking off our countdown at number 12, it's a visit to Pearl Harbor. This storied site is a poignant reminder of the world-shaping events that took place here on December 7, 1941. As you explore the harbor, you'll encounter the USS Arizona Memorial, a solemn tribute to the lives lost during the surprise attack. Nearby, the battleship Missouri Memorial stands as a symbol of the end of World War II. Don't miss the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum and the USS Bofin Submarine Museum and Park. Each offers a unique perspective on the events of that fateful day. Immerse yourself in the rich history and take a moment for reflection. Pearl Harbor, a humbling piece of history that is a must visit. At number 11, we're catching waves at Waikiki Beach. The birthplace of modern surfing, Waikiki Beach is synonymous with the iconic image of Hawaiian surf culture. Pioneered by the legendary Duke Kahanamoku, the art of riding waves has been a part of this vibrant beach scene for over a century. These waters are perfect for beginners and seasoned surfers alike, with plenty of surf schools ready to get you up on a board. And don't worry, wipeouts are part of the fun. After all, as the locals say, the best surfer out there is the one having the most fun. So grab your board and your aloha spirit. So are you ready to ride the waves at Waikiki Beach? Coming in at number 10, it's Hiking Diamond Head. This volcanic tough cone offers a challenging yet rewarding trail that's a must try for every adventure junkie. The hike, although steep, is well worth the effort. Every step takes you closer to the summit, where you're rewarded with a panoramic view that's nothing short of spectacular. You'll see a splendid vista of Waikiki and the vast Pacific Ocean. Now here's a tip for the hike. Start early to beat the crowds and the midday sun. And don't forget to pack plenty of water and sunscreen. Trust me, you'll thank yourself later. So, lace up those hiking boots and conquer Diamond Head. After all, it's not just about the destination, but also the journey. Diamond Head, where the journey and the destination are equally breathtaking. Number 9 on our list is a city tour of Honolulu. Here, the heartbeat of Hawaii truly comes alive. As you explore the city, you'll feel the vibrant energy that pulses through its streets. From the bustling Chinatown brimming with color and unique flavors to the historic district where stories from Hawaii's past whisper through the walls, there's something for everyone. Don't forget to indulge in the local food scene where culinary delights such as poke bowls and malasadas await. And let's not overlook the cultural hotspots like the Honolulu Museum of Art and the Bishop Museum, which house the soul of Hawaiian heritage. So dive in, immerse yourself, and let Honolulu charm you. Honolulu, where the city's pulse meets the island's tranquility. Splashing into number eight, we're snorkeling at Hanama Bay. This natural wonder is a haven for vibrant marine life, from technicolor fish to the occasional sea turtle. Hanama Bay's unique crescent shape was formed thousands of years ago by a volcanic eruption creating an underwater paradise perfect for snorkeling. When you're exploring these turquoise waters, remember the golden rule of snorkeling. Look, don't touch. Protecting the coral and its inhabitants is our collective responsibility after all. And here's a pro tip, arrive early. The bay is popular, so beat the crowd and enjoy the tranquility of the morning sea. Hanama Bay, your underwater portal to a rainbow of marine life. At number seven, immerse yourself in the Polynesian Cultural Center. This isn't just a tourist stop, it's a journey across the Pacific, all without leaving the island of Oahu. It's a living museum where the traditions, history, and spirit of Polynesia are celebrated every day. Participate in the ancient art of hula dancing or perhaps try your hand at weaving a traditional fishnet. And don't forget the luau, a feast that's as much a performance as it is a meal. The Polynesian Cultural Center is a place where the past and present coexist. Where stories are told through music and dance, it's more than just a day out, it's an experience, the Polynesian Cultural Center, where the spirit of aloha comes to life. Riding the wave to number six, it's the North Shore. If you're looking for the quintessential surf scene, this is the place to be. Renowned worldwide, the North Shore is a surfer's paradise with towering waves that challenge even the most seasoned board riders. But it's not all high adrenaline action. 
The North Shore has a laid-back vibe that's as inviting as a warm Hawaiian breeze. Time seems to slow down here allowing you to savor every moment. And let's not forget about the food trucks. From fresh succulent shrimp to sweet frosty shave ice, the street food here is a gastronomic adventure in its own right. So come hungry and leave with a full stomach and a heart full of memories. North Shore, where the waves are big and the vibes are bigger. Stepping into royal territory at number five, we're visiting Iolani Palace. Nestled in the heart of Honolulu, this palace is the only royal residence in the United States. Constructed back in the late 19th century, it served as the home of Hawaii's last reigning monarchs. Today it stands as a symbol of a time when Hawaii was a sovereign kingdom. Guided tours are available, offering a glimpse into the palace's rich history and stunning architecture. It's not just a walk through grand halls and opulent rooms, it's a step back in time. The palace is also home to sacred artifacts and personal items of the royal family. So get ready to immerse yourself in a royal experience. Iolani Palace, where history and grandeur stand side by side. Galloping into number four, it's Kualoa Ranch. This sprawling thousand-acre property is an adventure junkie's paradise. From horseback riding and ATV tours to zip lining, there's a whole world of thrilling activities to dive into. And if you're a movie buff, you're in for a treat. This ranch has been the backdrop for a host of Hollywood blockbusters. Remember the dinosaur chasing scenes in Jurassic Park? Yep, that was here. But it's not just about the adrenaline rush. The landscape of Kualoa Ranch is a sight for sore eyes. Picture this. Lush green valleys paired with stunning ocean views. It's like stepping into a postcard. Kualoa Ranch, where adventure meets scenic beauty. Soaking up the sun at number three, it's Lanakai Beach. This gem on the windward coast of Oahu is the epitome of a tropical paradise, with powdery white sands that feel like a dream under your feet and crystal clear waters that sparkle under the Hawaiian sun, Lanakai Beach is a vision that seems to have leaped straight out of a travel brochure. But the beauty doesn't end at the shoreline. A short distance away lies the renowned Lanakai Pillbox Hiking Trail a trek that rewards you with breathtaking panoramic views of the beach and the lush landscape. Whether you're a beach bum or an avid hiker, Lanakai Beach offers the best of both worlds. Lanakai Beach, where every day feels like a postcard. Sweetening the deal at number two, we're at the Dole Plantation. This place is a pineapple paradise. Imagine losing yourself in the world's largest maze where the walls are towering rows of pineapples. It's a real-life puzzle that's as fun as it is delicious, but the fun doesn't stop there. Hop on the Pineapple Express for a two-mile, 20-minute train ride around the plantation. Learn about the history of pineapple cultivation and the life of James Dole, the Pineapple King himself. And, of course, no visit to the plantation would be complete without a taste of the legendary Dole Whip. This pineapple soft serve is the crown jewel of the plantation, a treat fit for a king. Dole Plantation, where the pineapple is king. And finally, at number one, immerse yourself in the Waimea Valley. This lush oasis on Oahu's North Shore is a living museum, teeming with botanical wonders. Wander the winding trails and marvel at over 5,000 types of tropical and subtropical plants, some of which are rare and endangered. At the heart of the valley is the breathtaking Waimea Falls, cascading majestically into a natural pool. But Waimea is not just about natural beauty. It's a place steeped in Hawaiian history and culture. Ancient Hawaiians considered this valley a sacred place and you can feel that profound reverence all around you. Dive into traditional Hawaiian crafts, games, and music during your visit. Waimea Valley, where nature and culture intertwine in perfect harmony. And there you have it, folks, the top 12 things to do in Oahu. We've journeyed through history at Pearl Harbor, caught waves at Waikiki Beach, and scaled the heights of Diamond Head. We've immersed ourselves in the bustle of Honolulu, snorkeled in the serene Hanauma Bay, and explored Polynesian culture. Our adventure took us to the North Shore, through the royal halls of Iolani Palace and across the vast Kualoa Ranch. We've also lounged on the stunning Lanakai Beach and sampled fresh pineapples at Dole Plantation. And let's not forget our number one, the breathtaking Waimee Valley. I trust you've had as much fun as I have, and I hope these tips and suggestions will help you create unforgettable memories on your Oahu journey. So pack your bags, grab your sunscreen, and get ready for an Oahu adventure of a lifetime. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Aloha and until next time.